this is Gali Gofarb and welcome to my Gorilla Diet life coaching videos. Five times a week I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, happier and healthier place and I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. Today the quote of the day is by Lao Tzu and it says that if you do not change direction you may end up where you were heading. Now this quote may be taken in a few directions to improve your life. Now the first direction is quite obvious and that is if we do not change our direction for the better, then our life will end up where we were heading towards, whether consciously but more often than not unconsciously. Through the law of cause and effect, all of our actions are seeds that grow into the life that we are currently living. So if we are sowing seeds of fear, hesitation, and unhappiness and pessimism, then we will have a life where fears and different forms of unhappiness and pessimism will rule. So if we do not change our direction, our unbeneficial habits will lead us to a place where we were heading. But today, I want to talk about the other side, of the more positive side of this quote. And this is that if you do not change direction, you may end up where you were heading. Nowadays, most people in the world have so many options available to them, and it is very common to skip from one option, in one direction to the next, without uh, trying our best to go with, in one direction till the end and persist in a focused manner. Now, before giving up with any direction, a real chance should be given to the path and this is true, of course, for every field of life, like relationships, health, and building a fortune. Now, the secret of this quote, as I see it, is one of persistence. If you focus on one path and do not change direction from that path to a different path, a more easy path, or any other path, then you, and you persist with something that you believe in, then you will get the results that the path offers, which is usually a result of success. Persistence, following a goal or a path that you believe in from the depth of your heart and that is true for you, will lead you down the path to success in that field. Now, uh, it, it, they say, well, it takes five years for a bamboo tree to grow to its full height. Now, the only problem is that in the first four years, this tree doesn't grow, it doesn't seem to grow at all. But during the fifth year, it grows to its full height. Now, the question is, would you keep tending the seed for five years before you see any sign of growth? Well, you would if you believed that the tree would grow from that seed. Now, nothing in nature grows in one day. We know that it takes time, and farmers know this and keep taking care of their seeds so that they will reap the benefits. Basically, persistence is directly connected to the amount of belief that you have for a certain thing. If you truly believe in something, then you will have the option to persist on it. And if you persist, you will reach success. The problem is that most of us, even if we do believe, we don't persist on the path. So now the last question to ask yourself is whether the direction you are taking is right for you. Well, there is a system that I have created for myself after many years of making bad choices for every direction I'm considering on taking in my life. And now I will teach this to you. It's very short and very simple. If you choose to take a direction in life, like staying in a relationship with a certain person, or choosing a career, or choosing a path to health, you should start by asking yourself these three questions to determine whether this path will lead you to the results that you truly desire. Now, if you get any, uh, if you answer any of these three questions with the answer of no, then uh, the direction is wrong for you, and you should choose a better, different direction for you. So let's get into these questions. The first question is whether this direction has helped other people before you reach the results that you desire. Now the second question is whether this choice is leading you closer to your overall goal in life. Will I, by making this choice, get closer to my lifetime goals or not? And the third question is, ask, you, is to ask yourself whether this is true. Is this belief based on something that is true? And this brings you to the core of the situation. 
If something is true, then it will lead you to a very specific result. But if something is not true, it will lead to pain and suffering. Now, of course, it is also good to ask yourself the question that uh, of what if the opposite of what I believe is true is true. So to, this is, it's good to ask yourself this to make sure you can deal with failure of not reaching your goal. This question is also important in determining whether your goal is so important for you uh, that you would follow it no matter what the results are. So asking yourself whether the opposite were true can help you determine what you would do if you really couldn't get the results you were hoping for. Would you still follow this path because it is right for you to do or not? So those are the three questions. Now I want to give you some examples from uh, different fields of life that I mentioned before. So for example, when deciding on uh, staying in a relationship, all sorts of issues come up like limiting beliefs that you may be holding on. So that's why these questions are very important. The first question to ask yourself is, are there people who have gone from, we were talking about separation from a relationship. So are there people who have gone through separation who found themselves happier than they were before? And the answer to this is of course, yes. Some people are happier, some are not, but there are some people that are happier. Now the second question is, will this get me closer to my goals? Now if your uh, lifetime goal is uh, to be married, to anyone, no matter who they are, then you will reach your, you can answer yes. But if you want to get married to uh, build a family and to live a, a good family life, then you need someone who will be a, a right match for you to have a successful relationship. So perhaps this individual is less suited to build a family the way you see it. And then you would answer no to this question. Now, the third question is whether this is true. You could take this question to any different direction for you. Is this true that this is the relationship you need to be happy for you to be happy? Or is this true that you can't live without this person? Or is this really the only person in the world who you desire to be with? Now, that was an example from relationships. Uh, you really have to think about the answers and the questions in, in, uh, for every direction. So. It may not be as simple as, as I'm making it sound, but it is quite simple, the system. Now, the next example from, is from the diet industry. There are many diets, including the paleo diet, which uh, has become very popular. Uh, so if someone has decided to lose weight and decides to try the paleo diet, they will find evidence that it has helped people lose weight in the past. After all, the paleo diet does remove all dairy products and processed foods from the diet and there are many more vegetables on the paleo diet than there are in the common Western world diet. So of course, there are successful stories of how people will lose weight on this diet. The second question is whether uh, this is leading you closer towards your goals. And you may say yes if your goal is weight loss. But you would probably not say yes if you you have other goals that have an ecological nature. For example, if you care for the environment or if you care for the suffering of animals, uh, then you would say no because the paleo diet is full of animal products. But let's say your goal is only weight loss and you answered yes to it getting you closer to this goal. Then you move on to the last question to ask yourself whether this is true. Now to answer this, you would need to widen your knowledge about this diet and you would find out that it is not true. The paleo diet has nothing to do really with the real paleolithic diet of our ancestors. And also, there is a lot of research pointing out that a diet rich in animal products leads to heart disease, diabetes, stroke, and certain types of cancer. So it would fall on the last question. Now, for the career uh, choice. If you are ready to make a, a career choice, how will you know if it is the right one for you? now if you are in the right direction so you go with the three questions the first question is has this career made other people happy and most often than not the answer will be positive the next question is is this leading you closer to your lifetime goals now if you have your lifetime goals written before you then you know how you would like your life to, to look like and what is important for you so there you will get the right answer for you my, my, for example, my lifetime goal is to help people lead a better, better and healthier and happier life. So you determine your life goal and the answer, and then you can answer this question. 
And the last question is, is this true? You would answer whether this career choice would really make you happy and improve your life. Is this true for you that this is the best career choice? So this is how I go about making my choices. And I sure wish I had thought about this system before. It would have spared me a lot of suffering in my life. But actually, it is through the suffering that I went through that I brought me to where I am. But, and it brought me to learn this system. So if a system like this seems to work for you, then I recommend using it. And when you find a good direction for you in your life, in any uh, field of life, then you can persist because you will believe in it. You have gone through the process of asking yourself the right questions. So now you believe it is the right path for you. And then you can choose to persist with it. And as I said earlier, belief, it is taking you closer to the life you want to live. Then you know you're in the right direction. And slowly but surely, you will reach the life of your dreams. So since today, I've supplied you with three questions, not one, as, well, as I usually do, to ask yourself. And then ask yourself for every direction you choose in your life. I recommend going through these um, uh, three questions and especially in areas that you are less happy with and determine uh, if your current direction is really the right one for you. So ask yourself the three questions. Have other people succeeded with this path? Is this direction getting me closer to my life goal? And is this really true? So those are the three questions to ask yourself. And the affirmation of the day is I am making great choices for myself. I am making great choices for myself. Tell this affirmation to yourself as many times as you remember to do so today because with the repetition and affirmation has the power to transform your life. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you like the content um, and also visit my website, thegorilladiet.com for any health and wellness information programs and books. Thank you very much for joining.